Hi, I'm Mark, and today I'm here to bring you a review of the LG G3 smartphone. The LG G3 came out in June 2014 and is a follow-up to LG's G2 smartphone. The G3 retails at just under £500. One of the first things you notice about the G3 is the design. It has a 5.5 inch Quad HD screen which makes the screen one of the best on the market, but what's really impressive is that it goes pretty much to the edges of the phone. LG have given the G3 a really nice curved back design which feels great to hold and it's even just about usable with one hand which is really unusual for a phone of its size. The base of the phone has a micro USB port and a headphone socket. On the rear of the phone you'll find your power and volume buttons. Inside the phone you'll find a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor which runs at 2.5GHz. You have a choice of 16 or 32GB built in memory, plus there's a memory card slot which allows you to expand the phone's memory up to 128GB using a micro SD card, which makes the phone fantastic for media. The phone also has built in Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and NFC technologies, and it's also compatible with both 3G and 4G mobile data. Like most smartphones, the LG G3 has two cameras. The front facing camera is a 2.1 megapixel camera, which can also take 1080p video. This camera isn't going to produce the best photos in the world, but it's ideal for video calls and Snapchat. LG have kitted the G3 out with a 13 megapixel rear facing camera, which also has dual LED flash. They've also added laser autofocus, which means it focuses on things really quickly. The rear camera can also take 1080p HD video with stereo sound recording and video stabilisation. Both photos and videos from the rear camera produce really nice results. The software on the phone is Android KitKat, which has been visually tweaked by LG to incorporate some really nice features and design. One of LG's new features is a new security system called NotCode, which allows you to program a pattern-based code between two or eight taps. This code can then be used anywhere on the screen to unlock your phone, even when your screen's off. LG have also redesigned many of the logos and menus in KitKat, which gives them a really nice minimalistic look and makes the phone easy to navigate. The built-in apps make it easy to make calls, send messages, check your email, browse the net, get directions and listen to your music amongst other everyday tasks. LG have also added the ability to multitask two apps at once, which could be really useful if you're browsing the internet and making notes at the same time. Alongside that is LG Health, an app which is able to hook up to fitness gadgets, but also track your movement and work out how many calories you've burned. Ideal if you want to go for a run or just track how many steps you've taken in the day. You also have access to the Google Play Store, which has hundreds of apps to browse and download. Finally, that 5.5 inch screen is great for watching videos and makes them look incredibly good. Overall, the LG G3 is one of the best Android phones I've used. It can be used with one hand, the big screen makes things look brilliant and is really responsive and the battery can take about a day's worth of use, which is average for a smartphone. The only real downside is that unlike other high-end Samsung and Sony devices, it's not dust or water resistant. For those reasons, I give the LG G3 a 9 out of 10. I hope you found this review helpful, and I will see you guys again soon.